What's happening YouTube? Cowboy here and welcome back to another Lords of the Fallen boss strategy kill video. This time around we're taking on the big guy, Judge. Now being as he is the last lord in the game, he is also the hardest lord in the game by far. A couple key things we're going to want to look out for and a few things you're going to want to do ahead of time to get prepared. The most important being putting on some fire resistance shards which will help quite a bit in this fight. Now that being said, he will do a charge attack throughout the fight anytime you're at range and additionally right at the start of the fight here obviously the first time you fight judge the fight will be in this room after doing just a little bit of damage it quickly progresses down below and subsequent attempts basically if you die you respawn right here and you just hop down below to take him on now against the charge the only two things i've found that are successful are we run when he runs we jump when he jumps we managed to dodge the shockwave. The other main thing would be to basically block with a shield and it'll blow through your entire energy bar but it will mitigate out the damage. Personally I prefer the run and jump strategy. Now with that being said there are a couple key things that Judge will do we're gonna, that we're going to want to look out for. Obviously he has the charge in addition to that javelin attack you saw whenever we get at range. So here comes our charge. As you can see a roll was not successful and mitigating out that shockwave damage. A jump, however, is. There are his javelin attacks. You can either roll right, left to dodge those. You can actually position yourself so that they fly just past you, like either side of your head, which is pretty cool when it actually happens. As for melee attacks, he has three main patterns. Right swing, left swing, big slam. Second one, I'm trying to make him do, it doesn't seem he wants to, but basically he will do two swings with his left arm, the one with both the javelins. It's a two swing combo. And it hurts quite a bit. Those javelins will burst through about half of my health when they connect. Now, the biggest thing that's hard about fighting Judge is he doesn't have any real openings. As you can see right there, if you attack him during his small downtime after his combo, he does an additional shockwave, making it very hard to get in consistent damage. With this being said, there are two things I would suggest depending on your build. The first is being very close to him so that after that shockwave, you can get in a quick hit really fast and then plan on rolling out, which would work with a lighter build. With a heavier build, however, such as mine, where we're going to be running heavy armor, I would suggest a damage trade. And what I mean by this is get ready to run in and do as much damage as you can before he hits you. So just to demonstrate exactly what we're talking about, we're going to let him go for his 3 sing here. Once he stuns, we're going to run in, we're going to R2, and then we're going to do a follow-up R2. So even though he hit me, I just knocked off a massive chunk of health. Now that additionally, since we are at the point where we are past that 75% mark, we can see the phase change going into effect. Now basically when Judge gets down to that health threshold, what's going to happen is he's going to jump up, he's going to summon up a bunch of guys, and he's going to start shooting flames. These flames will go wherever you're standing, and they'll also kill these guys. Now what's important to note here is one, you don't really want the flames to kill these guys because if the flames kill them, that will uh, negate out your chances of getting the legendary quality weapon off of them. But additionally, those enemies are in place to heal him. So the faster you can kill the enemies, the less he will get healed. However, there is one other strategy you can do. When he first comes back down, you'll see that he stands there, puts his arm up, and does the healing effect. With certain classes, such as a warrior with rage and a two-handed weapon, you can effectively do enough damage to negate out his healing. So it really comes down to whatever you prefer. If you're fast enough, and you can kill at least three to four enemies, that should negate out his heal a good amount. If you're not fast, however, you're kind of screwed. We can see right there the one last mechanic of Judge, and that is a small ground shockwave that when it hits you, will give you a health debuff for the remainder of the fight. So aside from that, there's, you know, not really much else to say. You can see now he's going into his phase shift again. We're going to get in as much damage as we can here. He's going to jump up. We're going to show you what we were talking about with the alternate strategy this time around. So, of course, even under here, those flames will still hit you. Pop one of your fire resistance potions. That'll help mitigate it out quite a bit. We can see a bunch of the baddies are coming on over. We are going to pop Rage here. You can see he's getting off his healing. We're going to get in and do as much damage as we can while he's healing. And try and kill him outright, which we can see worked quite effectively. So regardless of which strategy you take, obviously they both work if you have very high damage but your character is not very fast, such as a warrior in heavy armor like I was, I would suggest going for the rage and bash through the heal. 
If you are a faster character, such as a rogue, I'd suggest trying to kill off the enemies instead. But either way, that is the judge down. So thank you very much for tuning in to the Lords of the Fallen boss strategy kill series. I appreciate all the support you guys give me. And in terms of future games, just because I'm sure some people are curious, we of course do have a drunk through of Lords of the Fallen coming up with a cleric build. And then following that, we got Assassin's Creed Unity, Assassin's Creed Rogue, Far Cry 3, and Dragon Age all just out on the horizon. So make sure to stay tuned for plenty more content to come, and we'll see you guys next time.